Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about rounding rocks. Have you ever noticed that smooth, round rocks are often found near water? In this experiment, we will investigate the effect of tumbling rocks in water. You will need some chalk, which has been broken or chopped up, fine gravel, coarse gravel, and two jars about three quarters full of water. Add fine gravel to one jar and coarse gravel to the other. We use different colors of chalk for different types of gravel. Set aside a few pieces so you have samples of the unchanged chalk, then add the rest to the jars. Shake the jar with fine gravel for one minute. Shake the jar with coarse gravel for one minute. After the first round of shaking, drain the water and separate the chalk from the gravel. Do you notice any changes in the shape of the chalk or the gravel? Refill the jars. Return half of the gravel and half of the chalk to each jar. Shake each jar for another minute. After the second minute of shaking, once again separate the chalk from the gravel. You should now have three different stages of the chalk, the original, the one minute, and the two minute products. Do you notice any trends with increased time of shaking? Look at the edges of the chalk to see if they are becoming rounded. There are two important variables, the shaking time and the gravel texture. Does the chalk become rounder as it is shaken more? Does the texture of the gravel affect the results? This experiment models the effect of rocks being washed down a river or tossed in the sea. Does it help you understand how angular rocks like these can be turned into smooth rocks like these? People use water and hard angular grains of silicon carbide to tumble rocks for decoration. The silicon carbide is harder than the rocks, so the rocks get rounded. Which is harder, the gravel or the chalk in our experiment? The softer substance gets rounded by shaking. We can see this in nature when we look at sandstone rocks. This sandstone has some larger pebbles in it. Are they angular or rounded? When we look at sandstone, it can be hard to tell if the grains are rounded or not. A small microscope attached to a phone camera allows you to get a closer look at the grains. The grains in this Sydney sandstone traveled thousands of kilometers down a river before being deposited. Were they rounded in their travels? We hope you've enjoyed experimenting with rock rounding. This video was produced as a collaboration between the Macquarie University Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences and Australian Earth Science Education. For more videos, blogs and activities, visit our website at ozearthed.com.au.